Hi guys, welcome back to our final video on creating star patterns in Python. For our final pattern, we are creating a diamond pattern which looks something like this. In our previous video, we had covered how to create a hill or a whole pyramid pattern which we had created using the combination of the two fundamental patterns that was the left half pyramid and the downward left half pyramid. And for obvious reasons, we can now call them the increasing and decreasing star pattern. So let's see how we can break down our today's pattern into the combination of increasing and decreasing star patterns. So what we want today looks something like this. And if I have to break this down into sections of our previous pattern, which was the hill, we can simply use one straight line and this will divide it into two hill patterns, one straight hill pattern and one downward hill pattern. So using the combination of what we created in our previous video, we'll create a diamond today. But before that, if we have to further divide this diamond, we can break it up into three triangles above and three triangles below. So let's go ahead and start coding. Now because we already covered this in the previous video, let's create our hill pattern first and a downward hill pattern after that. For a hill pattern, we need the same number of rows, so we'll keep our outer loop the same. Let's create our hill pattern. And over here, let's create a downward hill. Now, because both of these require the same number of rows, we'll keep our outer loop exactly the same. And I'll use the same outer loop for our downward hill. Okay. So for our upward hill, the very first thing that we needed was a decreasing star pattern and then two increasing star patterns and vice versa for the downward hill. So let's just code it out. For a decreasing star pattern, we need our interval from i to 5. And for now, let's print an underscore. And add two nested loops for an increasing star pattern. I'll copy the exact same thing below. And now for creating a downward hill, the first pattern that we needed was an increasing star pattern. Let me add that right here. But let me also correct the star to an underscore for now. And two decreasing star patterns. We can pick up from here. Let's also correct the indentation and correct the underscore to a star. And let's print both of these. All right. So what we have first is a hill pattern without a peak and a downward hill without a peak again. Before we correct the peaks, let's combine the two and create a diamond pattern. So we'll print one below the other. Let me pick that up and print that here and pick this up and put it here. So if you see the formation of the two, we need to create our first hill and our downward hill which is exactly what we've done in the code. We've added the code for our hill pattern right here. And right below that, we've added the code for our downward hill. And we've not added any breaks in the middle. So one should print after the other. Let's see what result do we get on running this. Okay, so we have something like a diamond pattern, but there are a lot of things that we need to note here before we can call it a diamond. Let's just pick this up and see what all changes do we need to create in this pattern to make it a whole diamond pattern. So this is what we have for now. And let's see what changes do we need to add over here so it can look like an exact diamond. First, it does not have a peak. Number two, our first column is running an extra time, which we do not want. And we want our print to start exactly from this corner. And finally, the third thing that we need to correct here is the two centers of the diamond. That means we only want one of these lines to get printed. So how do we correct that? 
let's start one by one and correct this one flaw at a time so first let's correct the p as well as this and how do we do that we need one of these nested loops to run one less time so we can simply do this by changing our nested loop and that's what we wanted so we've corrected our upward hill and now for the downward hill we'll set the peak later before that let's correct the extra space that's running in our first nested loop to correct that we'll simply have to make this run one less times and we can correct that by starting our interval from i plus one and I think our first pyramid has been corrected and this is exactly what we need. Now for the second pyramid, we do not want an extra run of this print statement here. So for correcting that, we'll simply need to change our range of the outer loop from 5 to 4. And now that it'll only run 4 times, we also need to change the number of times our other two nested loops for decreasing pattern are running. So we'll also correct that to 4. Once we've corrected this, let's see what output we get. Looks like we've corrected the second flaw. And the final flaw that we need to correct is adding a peak to our lower pyramid. We want one of the nested loops to run one less times than the other again. So I'll start the range from i plus 1 for our third nested loop here. And I think we've gotten what we wanted. Now we simply need to correct our underscore to a space. And we'll also need to correct that for the upper pyramid. So a space here. That's what we wanted. This looks like a beautiful diamond and it really makes me happy. So we created this using the simple combination of two pyramids. One normal pyramid and one downward pyramid. And those were created using the combination of three half pyramids. So these patterns are nothing but a combination of the two fundamental pyramids that we did in our first videos. So I hope after these videos you'll be able to create whatever pattern that you are wanting to create. For a starting example you can convert this diamond into an hourglass shape which will be a combination of the downward pyramid and then a normal pyramid. So why don't you go ahead and try it and let me know in the comments if you were able to understand and grasp the concept of creating patterns. And let us know what do you want to watch next. Thank you.